Thank you. Good evening. Sure, good evening. Uh, David Hancock, uh, La Plata, Maryland, and I'm here representing the 1,300 members of the Charles County Farm Bureau. Um, I think, you know, at these meetings, you don't really get to hear everybody's point of view in the county. You hear a lot of special interest groups. I'm representing a special interest group. I'm not going to lie. At the end of the day, that's what the Charles County Farm Bureau is. That's what a lot of conservatory uh, groups are the same way. But we have a lot more in common than we disagree on. But before I get into a couple of things, you know, it's, it's a lot, e it's very easy when you're on the outside looking in, trying to tell somebody what to do with their property. And I'll just give you an example. Um, my great grandfather bought our farm. Uh, he grew up dirt poor, literally slept on a dirt floor. His father was an alcoholic and died when he was 12 years old. At 12 years old, he had to leave school and go to work for his family. Uh, 1920, he started out as a sharecropper. Uh, he worked as a sharecropper for 20 years. In 1940, he was able, with the help of his sons, to buy the farm that my family still res resides on. <clears throat> we'll never develop that farm. We've bought farms since then, and we're putting them into ag preservation. But we also realized there was a lot of sweat and blood that went into buying that farm that it's easy, if you've never been in that position, to say this is what you ought to do and this is how you ought to do it. There's history, there's blood, there's sweat, there's tears, there's second and third and fourth jobs that went along to go buy that. So it's, it's a lot easier to tell somebody what to do with something when it's not yours. Um, I just wanted to say that real quick. The other thing is um, I'm a little bit disappointed with, I don't feel like we've really been taken seriously with the uh, ag chapter in the comprehensive plan. We've, as far as the implementation goes, I don't see anything about an ag marketing specialist. and. For as progressive as this board likes to claim to be, when it comes to agriculture, we're 10 years behind the rest of Southern Maryland. Um, St. Mary's County has an ag marketer. Calvert just got one. Prince George's County has one. Um, when you look at uh, what we have to offer here in the county, um, and I, I said it before, there's a $28 billion food budget in the metro area. Um, we have the resources here. We just need a little bit of help. We need, we need a little bit of help to reach. We can grow the product. We want to make some money off of it. Um, as Kevin said earlier, you know, $375 million general budget passed this year, and you know, it's a drop in the bucket to get an ag marketing specialist here. Um, and also, there, one of the stats we read, um, it's projected that zero agriculture jobs would be created in the next 20 years, I believe. I, I don't think that's true. We're, I can think of two people that have started full-time farming this year. Um, and it's a trend that's going up. And, and the farming community is a huge asset to Charles County. We, there's a, I'm not naming names, there's a commissioner here that he knows it. Um, he buys local food because uh, that's what his customers want. That's what the county wants. Can you summarize, um, please? Uh, please take us seriously. And I would also love to meet with all of you guys at any chance um, to talk about this. And thank you for hearing me. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much.